to take part in live drills, or do you understand why they're they're not you know let me do that? Yeah, I want to be out there taking um some hits, but I mean I understand where Coach Swinney coming from. He don't want me to take no hits, so I'm good with that. How's the neck? I mean, are you? I mean, you're good to go. Though. I mean, when, when when how long have you been good to go? Well, I've been good to go since like the last part of the season, mm -hmm. but he still didn't want me to take no contact. So I mean, that's just Danny Poole's decision, and we would go with it. What how frustrating is that? I mean, it's not first period. I mean, there's no point to take a hit right now, so we'll wait it up. What did your going through last year? How does it, you know, m motivate you for this year? Well, last year was tough. You know, watching my teammates out there win a lot of games. You know, they, the season didn't end how we wanted to end, but we're just looking forward to next year and just go back at it again. How anxious are you to get back out on the field after having to sit out basically the entire year and see what they did? Well, I'm real anxious about it. You know, um, just want to go back to the national championship again and just. Try to win it again. Have you gone back and looked at the video of the, of the, of the catch against Walker? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I watched it a few times, but I try not to watch it a lot. You know, um, I pretty much know what happened. I mean, and what, I mean, what can you do, though? I, mean, I guess once you get out there in, in, in live bullets, whenever that is in the fall, I mean, there's not really, you can't play scared, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not playing scared. You know, I'm, um, I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to get back up and um, do the same thing again. What's most important for you right now, knowing that you can't be in live scrimmage? Well, you know, um, when the team going live, you know, just um, being another out on the sideline, just you know, being able to see what's going on in the field and just belief in the sideline. What are you trying to work on the most while you're on the side? Well, just telling um, guys like Trevion, Seth Ryan, what I see on the sideline, what coverage is they um getting. Some of the drills you're doing on your own, what do you feel like? <clears throat> is there anything really that you can work on that you already haven't really, I guess, mastered? Well, when I get some... Um, Time by myself, I work on releases a lot, you know, catching a lot of balls, just the main thing. I think I'm gonna see a lot of press coverage this year, so working on my releases. Are you kind of counting down the days when that when preseason practice starts and they turn you loose and you're able to actually get out there? And... No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm actually ready for it, though. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Coach Scott said he's been very pleased with how Travion's come along this spring, yeah. given the opportunities that he's had. What have you seen from him out there? Well, I think Travion playing real good, you know. Um, Deion out, we needed somebody to step up. And Trevion has been that guy to step up. He's making a lot of plays out there. And you, I mean, you talk about being a, kind of being his ear a little bit and helping him out. How has he responded to kind of the advice that you give him and, and the insight that you're able to provide? Well, he responded, you know, um, early on in um, spring practice. You know, he had some drops. You know, um, talked to him. Came out here the next day. Made a lot of um, big plays. So is it just you talk to him and 